Hello everyone. In the previous sessions, we were through with the understanding of Chapter Two, Alice Adventure. Today, we will be doing the exercise part of this chapter. Dear students, you will get reference to context from this chapter. Reference to context means when you are given an extract from the chapter, and you have to identify from where this extract has been taken from. and you have to answer the given questions after reading the extract dear students you will find the answer to the questions from the extract itself our very first extract is she jumped up and get out again so this extract you can find on page number 14 and 15 please refer your book or your pdf of this chapter and after reading this extract you have to answer the questions which are given the very first is name the lesson and the author dear students the name of the lesson is alice adventure and lewis carroll is the author of this chapter coming to the second question who is she in the above lines so you must have read the word she in the above line so she here refers to alice our next question is what was strange about the rabbit so the strange thing about rabbit was that he had a pocket and he had a watch in it so our answer will be the rabbit had a pocket and a watch in it dear students strange means something that is unusual the fourth question is What did Alice do when she saw the rabbit go down the rabbit hole? So, as we have read in the chapter, when Alice saw the rabbit was running, she also followed her. So our answer will be, she also went into the hole. Our second extract is taken from page number sixteen. It starts from there were doors and ends at she told herself. The first question is. What did Alice see along the walls of the hall? So our answer will be Alice saw doors on every side of the hall. The second question is what did she find on the glass table? So dear students, the glass table which was placed in the hall, she saw that there was a golden key, right? So we will write she saw a very small golden key on the table. The third question is Why couldn't she use the key to open any of the doors in the hall? So basically the key was very small that is why she could not open any of the doors right so the answer will be she could not open any of the doors because the key was very much too small to open any of the doors Our next extract is taken from page number 16 and 17 which starts from i shall try just and ends at too small to get it the very first question is what did alice drink the answer is alice drank the liquid in the little bottle the second question is what happened to her after drinking the liquid as we have read students alice became smaller right so the answer will be alice became much smaller after drinking it The third question is why couldn't Alice go through the door after she became small so the answer is she couldn't go through the door because the door was locked and she could not reach the table to get the key because now she was very much small right and she could not reach the top of the table at the end of the chapter we will discuss the moral of the story so what we have learned from the story is we should keep our curiosity alive that means we must always be curious and excited about the things and keep looking for a way out when trapped somewhere that means if you get trapped anywhere in your life like alice was trapped in the big hall so we must keep on trying and trying to get out of there okay thank you